Hello everyone, and welcome to this video guide for completing Horseman Challenge 9 as Arthur Morgan before the epilogue. As most people know, this challenge looks difficult to try to complete it as Arthur. It says you have to ride from Van Horn to Blackwater in under 17 minutes without touching water, and Blackwater of course will be swarming with Pinkertons before the epilogue. To avoid being attacked by powerful AI with Terminator-like accuracy, many players opt to go the long way round with John in the epilogue. It turns out, however, you can complete the challenge without even crossing the upper Montana River. The reason for this is that there is a small peninsula inside Big Valley to the southeast of Rig Station and Lone Mule Stead, which the game counts as being inside Blackwater even though it is across the river. That means you won't risk running into the Pinkertons at all when attempting to get the challenge as Arthur. It's also a much shorter distance, making the time exceedingly easy to beat, so this technique can also be used in the epilogue. Subscribers of the channel may be aware I've done a previous video on how to get Horseman Challenge 9 as Arthur Morgan by jumping the broken bridge. This saves time and reduces the amount of Pinkertons you had to fight in order to get to Blackwater. I still think this is the most dramatic and fun way to do it, but there's a big risk you miss the jump or get killed by the Pinkertons. This new approach is much easier. Thanks are due to McClintock at GTA Forums who put me onto this method. It does feel like a programming oversight and I do wonder whether Rockstar will patch it out. I'll report in the video details and titles if that is confirmed to have happened, but for now this looks like the easiest way to do it. I will show a full run of the challenge at the end of this video. However, these are the first things you need to note before setting off. To begin with, you need to stock up on horse stimulants to use during the journey. You can possibly beat the time quite comfortably without them using this method actually, um, but having the horse stimulants will make your journey quicker and even easier. Secondly, aim to set off from Van Horn before 6.30am. I find this works to avoid running into an oncoming train on the bridge at Bard's Crossing. I was a little late in this video and I just about made it, as you can see here. You can set up camp outside Van Horn and sleep to advance time to prepare efficiently. Then when you are ready to go, set a waypoint as shown next to the letter A in Scarlet Meadows on the map. Heading in this direction minimises the chances of you failing for touching water such as a small stream or pool. Emerald Ranch is a massive hazard for this and that's why I don't go that way. Once you get to the waypoint, head directly west and down the train tracks. Should you encounter hazards such as a gang camp, just ride on fast and ignore them. Then follow the train track northwest all the way across to the bridge. Once you get there, head south to the Lord's Lone Mule Stead and then to the peninsula as shown on the map. If you haven't touched water or fallen off your horse, you should get the challenge. I did it here in a little bit under 8 minutes without trying particularly hard, less than half of the 17 minutes you are allowed. Now feel free to watch the full route and get in Horseman Challenge 9 as Arthur. If you like this video, please feel free to check out my channel for other Rockstar games, guides and videos. I have linked the description to my Red Dead Redemption 2 100% completion guide and videos showing you how to get other tricky challenges before the epilogue.